expert knowledge is locked up in the minds of a few people. Now that knowledge is increasing geometrically. There's over 1.2 million papers being published in medicine and science every year. But increasingly, the people in cities, in high centers, high level centers, have that knowledge and it isn't reaching the periphery. Project ECHO focuses on unlocking expert knowledge to help bring better services to the underserved. Project ECHO was uh, founded by Dr. Sanjeev Aurora uh, about 15 years ago in New Mexico and the initial challenge that uh, Dr. Aurora faced was uh, treating hepatitis C patients in New Mexico. New Mexico is a geographically large state, very rural and medically underserved. And he was in Albuquerque at the university and he could treat hepatitis C patients at his clinic, but only about 150. And there were over 28,000 patients in the state. So initially he tried to share the information on how to treat hepatitis C. This is about 15 years ago and there was good treatment, but it was complex, different medications, side effects and so on. And nobody in the primary care environment wanted to take that on. So what Dr. Aurora did was he developed Project ECHO, which is, uh, he built a learning community. And over about the course of a year, year and a half, he mentored primary care teams on how to treat hepatitis C. Um, during an ECHO session, uh, which is a video conference-based learning session, a uh, rural doctor may present a case that they are currently managing. And that case will be discussed by all the experts at the hub, but everybody in the community, in fact. And then a, this will help inform the, the decisions that the treating physician in the periphery makes. But here's the magic of ECHO. That patient benefits, but all the other patients in that practice that are similar to the patient that was discussed will also benefit. In the best instances, then ECHO becomes part of perhaps a plan of the Ministry of Health. And ultimately, we hope will be sort of become a fundamental platform for, for learning uh, in, in that community. And we've seen that uh, in Ontario, Canada. We've seen it in Northern Ireland and we've seen it in India. In the United States, uh, there is something called the ECHO Act, uh, which was uh, signed at the end of 2016, which is causing the Department of Health and Human Services to study ECHO. We are going to try and scale ECHO up to work at scale, as people say. About a year ago, uh, we at the ECHO Institute, which is at the center of the Project ECHO movement, set ourselves an audacious goal. And that goal is to touch a billion lives by 2025.